Welcome to the guide at Fish North Georgia. Brought to you by these fine sponsors. Spro, working with America's best anglers to design the world's finest fishing tackle. Nichols Lures, handcrafted to perfection. Georgia Blade, makers of premium fishing lures for over three decades and home to the Georgia Jig. Crypto Bass, tournament grade, Georgia made. And be sure to visit fishnorthgeorgia.com. Now here's Sammy Benitez. Hey guys, Sammy Benitez here with Fish North Georgia The Guide. So I'm coming at you with another report for Hickory Log Creek Reservoir. So the water is so hot there. Um, I went out Sunday evening, I launched around 5.30. The water temperatures were 92 degrees Fahrenheit. Hard to believe, but it's summertime. We've come to it. This is about as hot as it's gonna get, I hope, please. Um, so that means a few things. Fishing's gonna be a little slower, typically and uh you're gonna want to stick to shade i mean those bass are are gonna want to be as comfortable as they can in these temperatures so they're either going deep or they're gonna hold to structure they're gonna be in the shade so i went there with intent to try a few new techniques i tied on some lures i don't normally throw but uh based on my previous experiences i've seen a lot of bass activity and a lot of bait fish activity in the main creek channels so we're talking about maybe 60 foot of water and uh, these bait fish and bass are suspending kind of around 30 foot, 25 foot of water. And so I wanted to try and capitalize on that. Those are usually hard fish to target, but I went out there with that in mind. Side note, personal goal of mine is this year I want to be successful every time I go out to Hickory Log. And that just means I don't want to get skunked. That's my goal. I fish there enough that I feel pretty confident that I can do that. So I always start with confidence lure, try and get a bite before I start throwing things that I don't normally throw. And uh, if you saw my report on the Etowah River, I made this little soft plastic topwater lure. It's almost like a fly that you can throw on a spinning setup and it's uh, made to imitate a jackal lure called the Ike Chu that I found in Japan. So all that to say, I threw that for 10 minutes, I caught a bluegill, I caught a bass, and so I put it down after that and started fishing some things I don't normally do. If you're interested in seeing how I made that, there's gonna be a video on my channel, Sammy Benitez, you can find me on YouTube, and uh, I'll show you exactly how I did it there. But with that being said, trying to target these suspended bass, throwing some new techniques, I'll show you exactly what I brought to the table and uh, I'll just let you know that I didn't have much success out there. So the first lure was a hair jig. This is a half ounce, just white. I don't recall who makes this. I got this in the clearance bin somewhere. Uh, but I was throwing this on main lake points close to where I saw all of that activity or just off the bank, you know, casting at the bank, letting it sink to the bottom, giving about five quick reels and then letting it sink right back down trying to give it a, get a reaction bite from some of the fish in the area. Um, I didn't catch anything with this. I know this works. Depends on the time of the year and a lot of times where the fish are staging. So it could have been just the points I was fishing. Those fish were not targeting this or they weren't staged on that part of the point. But this could work in some conditions and more so if you see them holding close to the drop off. Uh, suspended a few feet off this is gonna be a go-to lure to try uh, but I wasn't really seeing that but I wanted to try it anyways I tied it on another lure that I was throwing this is Georgia blades four inch spoon I just recently got very similar fishing style to the hair jig but has a little bit of a different presentation so I don't know if you can see how heavy-duty this hardware is and it actually comes with a swivel already to to avoid all those line twists you get with a flutter spoon uh, but I was throwing this kind of in the same exact areas seeing if maybe I can get a different uh, a reaction out of any of those fish in the area throwing it at the point letting it sink flutter to the bottom giving it a couple quick tugs letting it sink right back down and I'm throwing this on an extra heavy rod with an extra fast rod tip Basically, if anything touches this lure, I can feel it. A lot of times that's not what you want to throw with treble hooks, but for something like this where you're throwing a slack line, I want all the sensitivity I can get. Um, but again, no luck with this one. And I think, again, it really depends on where the fish are staging, 
on those particular points but I'm trying to target these suspended fish those are usually the hardest to target the hardest to catch and uh, this was an attempt at that with no luck the last thing I was throwing was this six cents deep deep diving crankbait I forget if this is the 22 or the 25 um, but it, it's it's pretty big it's about the size of my palm and so I was throwing this in those same areas and I didn't catch any fish I was throwing near structure kind of parallel to the bank on the points over the points over brush piles and going thinking back on it one of the reasons I may not have been catching fish is the middle of the reservoir the thermocline sits right around 22 feet of water and I think this is going down below it and a lot of the fish are kind of sitting at that line looking up so I think next time I go out, I'm gonna tie on something like an XD5 a Strike King XD5 and kind of target that maybe 15 to 18 foot of water with a uh, crankbait and see if that has any success the other thing I will say is the thermocline gets a little deeper the closer you get to the dam so this deep deep diving crankbait may work well farther out there but I didn't venture out that far uh, this this weekend this trip but uh yeah something to note you know the thermocline towards the front of the reservoir sits right at like 20 foot of water um, once you get kind of to the middle of the reservoir it gets a little deeper that thermocline drops to 22 25 foot of water and then the farther you get to the dam the more it drops I didn't see where it was at this week but that's just some information that may help you trying to decide what types of lures to throw how deep to go when you're fishing Hickory Log Creek Reservoir all in all I threw some new techniques they weren't too successful for me I'm glad I started with a confidence technique to be able to get a fish in the boat before I started throwing some things that I'm not used to um, and that's just part of fishing not every day is catching and uh, you also you never know what you're missing out on if you don't try new things and you also don't grow as an angler if you throw the same lures every time the drop shots gonna work there every time a Senko a wacky rig is gonna work every time um, and I have great confidence in those lures and I know that if I would have just thrown them all day I would have caught a few more fish but part of the reason I'm here doing this for you guys and for myself is to document what's happening on that reservoir try some new things those fish are suspending the bait fish are suspending they're out there there's a way to catch them I'm just on my way to figuring it out so with that being said thank you for tuning in check out the playlist here check out all the local lakes local anglers giving reports if you want to check out my personal YouTube channel it is Sammy Benitez you can find me there doing fishing stuff and some stuff around my house but with that I will let you go if you've got any comments if you've had any success on the reservoir please leave some comments down below let us know what's working for you and with that, I will leave you. So take care. Peace. Thanks for watching the guide here at Fish North Georgia. Our mission is to build a community of anglers to give you the best and latest information to make your day on the water more successful. Make sure you subscribe to our channel, click the bell so you'll be notified of any future content. Make sure you check us out at fishnorthgeorgia.com where we carry a large variety of bait manufacturers from here in the North Georgia area. So we appreciate you being part of our community and we'll see you soon.